Want to install a Helix TV terminal? Here's how. First, connect one end of the HDMI cable into the back of the Helix TV terminal, and the other end into one of the HDMI ports on your TV. Take note of the HDMI port's number. Plug the power cord into an electrical outlet that isn't connected to a dimmer or switch. Then plug the other end into the power supply inlet at the back of the terminal. The indicator light on the terminal will flash to indicate that it's connecting to your internet network through your HelixFi gateway. Turn the TV on with the remote control and select the HDMI input noted earlier. You should see a welcome screen. You will now use the voice remote to set up your terminal. Start by removing the plastic tab at the back and follow the instructions on the screen. Select the language using the navigation arrows on the remote control and confirm your choice by pressing the button in the center of the arrows. Wait a few minutes while your terminal connects to your Wi-Fi network. The login screen will appear as well as other status screens. Select OK when the update is complete. If the automatic connection fails, you can log in manually using the WPS protocol. To proceed, select Initiate Connection. You'll have two minutes to press the WPS button underneath the terminal and then the button on top of the HelixFi gateway. If you fail to complete the setup in time, press the terminal's WPS button again, then the gateway's WPS button to start a new login sequence. Continue the setup by naming your terminal to make it easier to recognize when managing your Wi-Fi network with the Helix app. Select a name from the list or create a different name, then select OK to confirm. Helix will optimize your screen to make sure you get the best HD resolution. Select Yes to confirm these settings. The next step is pairing the voice remote. If the voice remote does not pair automatically, you will be prompted to set it up manually using the on-screen instructions. Press and hold the Helix and Info buttons until the voice remote's indicator light changes from red to green. Then enter the three digits that appear on your screen. To control your TV with the voice remote, select Yes and follow the on-screen instructions. To ignore this step and proceed to the next, select Not Now. If your TV's brand isn't detected automatically, select it from the list or enter its name by selecting the letters using the remote. Then hold down the Helix and Mute buttons until the remote light changes from red to green. Enter the five-digit code that appears on the screen and press OK. Make sure you enter the numbers in order, as they will not appear on the screen when you enter the code. Then check if the remote controls the volume on the TV. If the volume changes, the remote is paired. You can select It Works. If it didn't pair, select It Doesn't Work to repeat these steps with a new code. Lastly, if you want to control an audio receiver with your voice remote, select Yes and follow the steps, which are similar to those in the TV pairing process, or select Not Now to ignore this step. That's it! Your Helix TV terminal is ready to go! You can now press the microphone button on the remote and say the name of your favorite TV series or movie. To make the most of your Helix Entertainment experience, press the A button on the remote control and explore the videos in the Tips and Tricks section.